What's up guys, Valentin here. Today we'll be taking a look at seven KeePass features you should definitely know about. Although I have many years of experience with KeePass, I didn't know about all of the useful features I'm about to share with you guys before I was doing the research for this video and I'm quite surprised I could live without them. Number one, password duplicates, similarities and strength. Did you know that you can easily find duplicate passwords inside of your KeePass database? There's an easy tool for that which is built into the core of the KeePass password manager. Just click on find duplicate passwords and get rid of all duplicate passwords easily. If you're wondering why this is important, let's just say your user credentials get leaked on one website. If you're using the same email and password on other websites, hackers might be able to access important data or even worse, lock you out of your own account, which depending on the account type can result in a real nightmare. And since KeePass remembers all of these long passwords for you anyways, you shouldn't be using the same password on multiple accounts for your own safety. You can also search for similar passwords, which again is something you should be avoiding for maximum security. On top of all of that, KeePass also features a function to identify weak passwords. Having a long password basically has no downsides if you're using a password manager, so you should always go for at least 20 characters and improve weak passwords as soon as possible. Number two, auto type, two channel auto type obfuscation and some additional tips. If you're using the KeePass password manager, you're most likely also using the auto type feature. Just press Ctrl Alt A and, ah, oh, damn it. Sometimes it is necessary to override the default auto type sequence. You can override the settings of single entries or create rules for a group, which can save you some time if you have lots of entries. Let's take a look at PayPal, for example. You first have to type your email, then press enter and wait a little, then type your password and press enter once more to log into your account. If we replace tap with enter and at a short delay of around two seconds afterwards, your auto type sequence will work again without causing any problems. Pretty neat feature, huh? And if you were wondering whether you can just paste your password, of course you can. Just press Ctrl Shift Alt A and you're done. If you haven't enabled two channel auto type obfuscation to protect yourself from keyloggers, you should definitely do so. This basically copies a part of your password using your clipboard and then goes back and pastes all the missing characters in between. This solution isn't perfect as a clipboard spy plus keylogger could use both information to combine it and recreate your password, but you should still use whatever you can to minimize the impact of an attack. To enable two channel auto type obfuscation, click on find all, then press Ctrl A to select all entries and press enter. Head over to the auto type tab and put a check on two channel auto type obfuscation here. And while we're at it, if you want KeePass to always show the entry selection dialog for you, you can enable that feature in the options. This is a must in my opinion, as it can sometimes happen that KeePass doesn't recognize the correct entry and paste the wrong information, which is something you definitely want to avoid. To do this, head over to tools, options, then click on the advanced tab, scroll down to reveal the auto type settings and put a check on always show global auto type entry selection dialog. It is worth it to dig into these settings here and set up everything to your liking. There are definitely some more quality options to enable here, but that's something for a separate video. Number three, save files and additional credentials inside of KeePass. If you have secret files that you want to protect from prying eyes, you can attach these directly to an entry inside of your KeePass database. Adding huge files will of course increase the size of your database though, so please be aware of that. Besides attaching files, you can also add more information and protect the values in process memory. This is something I regularly use for things like pin codes, for example. And if you don't want to use an additional plugin for entry templates, these fields can be really helpful as you can also use them in your auto type sequence. Just use the following syntax inside of your auto type sequence. You can also reference fields from other entries, but I have yet to find a useful scenario for that feature. It might be helpful for you though, which is why I still wanted to share that info here. Number four, composite master keys and key files. If you're only using a master password to unlock your KeePass database, you're missing out on a huge security improvement feature. Having a set second factor for authentication is very important, and that's where key files come into play. Even if someone knows your password, that person won't be able to access your KeePass database if it is protected by a so-called composite master key, which consists of a master password and a key file, for example. This can protect you in case someone gets access to your database that sits inside of your cloud storage and finds out your master password. If you only store that key file locally on your PC, your database should still be safe because an attacker would need that key file to open your database. Setting up a composite master key is pretty straightforward. If you already have an existing KeePass database, just click on File, Change Master Key, then choose a strong password and click on Show Expert Options. Put a check on key file slash provider and click on create to create a new key file. Make sure that show dialog for collecting user input as additional entropy is checked and click on OK. 
add some random mouse and keyboard input to make the creation of the key file actually random and click on OK once more. Choose a safe location for your key file, preferably on a local drive or even USB stick that you only connect to your computer when you're actively using it. You don't necessarily have to create a key file though. A key file can actually be anything you want, even an image or music file for example, which looks a lot less suspicious than an actual .key file. If you save the key file in the same place as the database, this won't be of much use though, even if it is an image you're using as an attacker would like go through all your recently accessed files automatically. Having such a composite master key is considered to be very safe as it consists of something you know and something you have, which puts you miles ahead of a possible attacker. Keep your database master password and key file in different places though to actually increase the security of your data. By the way, many of you guys have requested a video tutorial on YubiKeys for KeyPass, which could act very much like the key file solution we have discussed here. YubiKeys can be quite expensive though, and although they offer some additional protection, you can achieve almost the exact same result results here by just using a regular USB stick that hosts a key file for you. But this is something we'll go into more detail in another video where I'll show you exactly how to set everything up on a cheap USB stick. Number 5. Multi-user collaboration in KeePass Did you know that you can easily work on a single KeePass database with multiple people? Although you cannot add multiple users with separate passwords to a single database at this point in time, collaborating on a single KeePass database is still possible. There are some things that you should be aware of though. Number 1. There's only one master password and every user has to use it to access the database. If you're using a key file for additional protection, every user must have access to it to open the database. Number 2. There are no user permissions, which means that everyone with password access can add, delete and modify entries or the entire database. Make sure to only share your KeePass database with people you really trust. Creating backups from time to time is also a great idea, especially if you're working with inexperienced users that could make unwanted changes to your database. And number three, KeePass has a built-in synchronization feature. Changes made in multiple instances of the database can be merged safely. If it comes to any conflicts because multiple users added the same entry, for example, KeePass just uses the latest version based on the last modification date. Here are some more tips. I would suggest to completely separate your private passwords and never share them with anyone. Since you can open multiple databases inside of KeePass at once, you could simply manage user permissions by creating dedicated databases for different projects or working sectors. There's a neat plugin that allows you to open additional KeePass databases automatically when opening your main database, which is called Key AutoExec, and could save you a lot of time here. If you're searching for even more great plugins to enhance your KeePass experience and make your life a lot easier, you can watch my video right here. Number six, random password generator. KeePass has an extremely powerful random password generator that you can use to build strong passwords quickly. You can create presets for different password lengths and even choose which characters you'd like to use. On top of that, you can use patterns or custom algorithms. If you want, you can also collect additional user input as entropy here to make your passwords truly random as computers don't have the ability to create an actual random random sequence of characters without any outside data. There are also some advanced options that allow you to exclude lookalike characters or ones you specify manually. Limiting each character to only occur at most ones is also possible, but I wouldn't recommend using any of these features unless the website or app you're generating the password for does have a strict policy that forces you to follow these rules. If you click on the preview tab, you'll be able to see a few examples that match your rules, which is also very helpful. Number seven, portable KeePass version. If you're using KeePass on more than one computer, it might be a good idea to switch to the portable version if you haven't already. This allows you to use KeePass without actually installing it, which might even be necessary if you want to access your passwords on a public computer. Just download the portable version from the KeePass website, unzip it and paste it on a USB stick or other storage device. You can also put the portable version inside of a folder on your cloud storage of choice to synchronize your data database and all the settings between multiple devices. I have created a detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to safely synchronize your KeePass database using different cloud storage providers that you can watch right here. So yeah, as you can see, there's tons of great features that are built directly into the core of the free and open source KeePass password manager. If you have any further questions or there's anything else you guys want me to cover, then please let me know in the comments down below. Other than that, I really hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.